To jailbreak iPadOS 18.3 using Polera 1N, you can follow these steps based on the latest online and PC methods available. Online method, recommended for ease. Prepare your device. Ensure your iPad is running iPadOS 18.3. Backup your data using iCloud or another backup method to prevent data loss. Download Polera 1N. Polera 1N Online can only be downloaded from third-party app stores like Z Jailbreak, Pangu 8, Zoox, or Silem Store. You can also use repo extractors like Silem Repo Extractor or Ireland Repo Extractor. Specifically, it's recommended to download Polera 1N from the Z Jailbreak App Store using your mobile Safari browser. Installation Process Access Z Jailbreak through your iPad Safari browser and download the Polera 1N online tool. After downloading, navigate to Settings, General, VPN, and Device Management to complete the installation of the Polera 1N online app. Jailbreaking Open the Polera 1N app you've installed. Follow the on-screen instructions to initiate the jailbreak process. This includes opening the terminal app and pasting the IPSW key provided by the Polera 1N IPSW app. Waiting for the process to automatically match the IPSW key with your iPadOS version and complete the jailbreak. Install Cilio. After the jailbreak process, you should see an option to install Cilio. Select it to install the package manager. PC method for more control or specific device compatibility. Prerequisites. A computer, Mac or Linux. Windows users should use Palin 1X instead. A USB cable compatible with your iPad. Download Polera 1N for PC. Visit the Polera 1N website or GitHub repo to download the latest version of Polera 1N for PC. Version 2.0.2 supports iPadOS 18.3 for iPad 7. Connect your iPad. Use a USB or USB-C cable to connect your iPad to your computer. Jailbreak process. Open a terminal or command prompt on your computer. Navigate to the directory where you've downloaded Polera 1N and run the command to start the jailbreak. For example, if you're on Mac OS or Linux, you might type slash Polera 1 in in the terminal. Follow the on-screen prompts which might include putting your device into recovery mode and then DFU mode. Post jailbreak. Once the device reboots, open the Polera 1 in loader app on your iPad. Tap on Cilio to install the Cilio package manager. Important notes. 11 devices. If your iPad uses an A11 chip, like the iPad Pro, remember you must disable your passcode, and you won't have access to SCP functionality, like Face ID or Apple Pay, while jailbroken. A 9, X, and earlier. These devices might get stuck. In such cases, use Control plus C in the terminal to stop and restart the process. Compatibility. Polar R1N works well with the iPad 7th generation running iPadOS 18.3 based on recent achievements, but might have limitations or issues with other models or newer iOS versions. Polar R1N supports a range of devices, primarily focusing on older hardware due to its reliance on the Check 8 exploit. Here's a list based on the current information. Supported devices. iPhone models. iPhone 6S. iPhone 6S Plus iPhone SE, first generation, iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 10, iPad models, iPad Air 2, iPad Mini 4, iPad Pro 9.7 inch, iPad Pro 12.9 inch, first generation, iPad Pro 12.9 inch, second generation, iPad Pro 10.5 inch, iPad fifth generation, iPad 6th generation, iPad 7th generation, iPod Touch, iPod Touch 7th generation, Apple TV, Apple TV HD 4th generation, Apple TV 4K 1st generation, other devices with T2 chip, iMac Pro, iMac Pro 1, MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro 15 1. Key points 11 devices, jailbreaking 11 devices like iPhone 10 requires you to disable the passcode, and you won't be able to use SCP functionality, like passcode, face ID, touch ID, and Apple Pay, until you boot into a stock iOS state. iOS support. 
Color I1 in generally supports iOS slash iPadOS versions from 15.0 up to the latest versions like iPadOS 18.3, with specific support for each version depending on the tool's updates. Limitations Color I1 in does not support devices with a 12 or newer chips, as it uses the Checkmate exploit, which is only effective on A5 to A11 chips.